gentlemen, my next guest tonight is a stand-up comedian making her network television debut. Please welcome to The Late Show, Kate Willett. I'm really excited to be here. <laughs> so I've been trying to stop dating immature guys. I moved to the top of a hill so that it would be harder to skateboard up there. <laughs> I was hooking up with this one guy for a little while, maybe like six years. <laughs> During that time, he would tell me not to get emotional but then he would also constantly confide in me about how his dad left when he was a little boy. And I tried to be supportive, but around year four of that, I just really started to see why the dad took off. <laughs> I think that shaming promiscuous women is a very big problem in our culture, and a lot of it is coming from my mom. She'll say things like, Kate, I think it's really sad that women your age hook up with these loser guys who just leave. And I'm like, Mom, I think it's a lot better than the days when women hooked up with loser guys who just stayed. <laughs> now, a crappy guy, you know, he only wants you for one thing, but back in my mom's day, they also wanted you to do dishes. <laughs> People used to get married way too young. If I got married when I was 20, like my mom did, I would be married to a dude right now because at some point, he just had weed. <laughs> on the upside, like we'd save money on the wedding because he'd absolutely already be a DJ. <laughs> but... I am very glad that things have changed. If this was 40 years ago, I would not be doing stand-up right now. I would probably be married to some kind of deadbeat, alcoholic dude, and I'm not, because I was lucky enough to be born in a time where most deadbeat, alcoholic dudes are not really looking to commit. <laughs> and I know that, because I have tried really hard. <laughs> Comedy is not my first male-dominated industry. I used to work in tech in an office that was just me and 20 guys. The sexual harassment policy was just, hey, everybody, please leave Kate alone. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it. <laughs> And now, because a lot of people are not used to the idea of a female comedian, I will get trolled by these weird men who live in basements. And before you get mad at me, I just want to say that I'm sure that there are also some really great guys who live in basements. <laughs> Hashtag not all basement men. <laughs> Look, some of them do not hate women. They just hate windows. But the dudes who are trolling me are very misogynistic. They will say things like, yeah, women just want to take half your stuff. And I'm like, bro, there's way easier ways to get half a bag of Doritos. <laughs> Some of the guys who troll me are incels, which is short for involuntarily celibate. These are men. No one wants to have sex with them, and they complain about it in internet forms, which, to be honest with you, I have also done. <laughs> when I was in high school, I had a very hard time coming out as bisexual to anyone except for these lesbians in an online chat room. So I would go in there and be like, hey, I'm a 15-year-old bisexual girl, and I'm super horny. And then they would just be like, get out of here, you disgusting old man. <laughs> So 
So I went and read some incel message boards, and the theme is like, yeah, no one likes me, no one wants to hang out with me, people cannot even stand being around me, so it sounds like the problem is obviously women. <laughs> <laughs> and their idea for a solution is to make it illegal for women to have sex with more than one man in our lifetime so that we will be redistributed No matter how sexually frustrated I have ever been, I have never thought about trying to solve it through a legislative process. <laughs> Thank you so much. Her podcast is called Reply Guys and is available on iTunes. Kate Willett, everybody, we'll be right back.